Just to make sure, I'm gonna ask you one last time. Nobody was over there except for you until the fog came back, correct? That's what I've been saying. He didn't show up on the Midnight Channel either. What's up with that? No clue, but I think we can be sure now that King Moron was never thrown into the TV. Then what? He was killed over here? Why not throw him into a TV like all the rest? already, but I guess everyone screws up sometimes. Maybe the culprit thought he couldn't kill any more people by throwing them into TVs. I mean, we prevented his last three attempts in a row. I get you. That could be it. So they snuffed someone on our side this time to make sure it worked. Damn it. If that's true, then we have no way of preventing more murders unless we catch the killer. We need more clues. I wonder if Racy Jones up and around yet. Yeah, we'll have to put our hopes on her. <sighs> it's so hot out. I'm taking this off. Wait, you're not talking about your head, are you? <coughs> Cut it out! There's kids watching! Jeez, they'll be scarred for life if they see an empty mascot walking around. A little consideration, man. I'm glad you're back to normal, though. Your fur's all fuzzy again. Can I... Can I feel it? No. Actually, I'm no longer a hollow bear. <laughs> I trained and trained, hoping to someday score with Chie-chan and Yuki-chan. And now, I finally have an inside. Yeah, good job with that. Can we give it a rest with the whole scoring thing? Dude, you're hollow. Taking your head off isn't gonna cool you down. But I just told you, I'm not hollow anymore! Yeah, it's too hot! I can't stand it! Anything to wear? I'm basically like a newborn at the moment. Teddy? Is that really you? Uh... Wait, did you say you're like a newborn? Uh, then don't take the bottom part off. Uh, you need some clothes, right? Come on, let's go look around. That's... Teddy? He said he's not hollow anymore. So, like, he threw himself a body in there? What kind of creature would do that? I mean, what is he? <sighs> and again, this is hardly the first bizarre thing we've seen. And I gotta admit, it's probably better than him walking around in his bear suit. Oh, hey, weren't we gonna see about talking to Rise? I was so shocked that I lost track of what we were talking about. Well, let's head over to Rise's place. As for Teddy, he's with the girls, so he should be fine.
You're gonna get a stomach ache. <sighs> Sorry, we're late. How did it take you that long to find clothes for Ted? Whoa. I is that you, Teddy? Oui, monsieur. How do I look? Just men, 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 uh, men don't speak. Encourage him. I have to say, it totally blew my mind. But he's Teddy, all right. This guy had to make it a huge ordeal. Everything was new to him, so it turned into a big mess. He was so excited in the women's section that he started blabbering. Hey, you can't just go around doing whatever you please when you're in this form. Got it? Well, he can't help it. It's his first time in our world. <sighs> all right. You don't need to get all mopey like that. I never said I won't forgive you. I'm so glad. I was worried that you didn't like me anymore. <laughs> Man, if you can behave yourself, you'll be pretty cute. Is he cute? What do you think, Kaji? Huh? What are you asking me for? Well, I was just wondering if he was your type. Oh, I get it. What you're really asking is, will you please beat the shit out of me, Kaji? <laughs> <laughs> it ain't funny, Yukiko-senpai. to ingratiate yourself with Rise Kujikawa now? So why did the clerk even let them charge it to someone else? Huh? Wait, you're that guy we saw with Kanji. 
Precisely. I don't believe we've met since then. In fact, I don't believe I've ever introduced myself. My name is Naoto Shiragane. I'm investigating the multiple murders that have occurred here. Mind if I ask you a few questions on the subject? The latest victim, Kinshiro Muraoka. He was a teacher at the school you all attend, correct? So what? The public is focused on the fact that he is associated with the second victim's school. But in truth, that's irrelevant. What intrigues me is the inconsistency. This Moroka has never appeared on television. What do you make of that? How are we supposed to know? Well, we'll leave it at that. For my part, I'd like to solve this case as quickly as possible. I'll be keeping an eye on you all. Well then, until we meet again. Is that guy? It felt like he completely saw through us. He even knew about the TV thing. Oh, hi. Really, Chan? Are you okay now? Good, good. Are you all here to check up on me? Oh, well, yeah. Oh, um, do you guys have a moment? There's something I want to tell you. Follow me, and my grandma's taking care of the shop today. Oh, sure, okay. That's the reason I know. I do remember you all wearing glasses over there. 